In a surprising study out today, researchers say they have detected cancer with a blood test. Dr. John LaPook says the discovery was an accident. Anesthesiologist Dr. Eunice Lee was 40 years old when she got pregnant with her second child. She had a blood test to check the fetus for genetic defects like Down syndrome. But what surprised Lee and her doctors was that the test suggested a major illness not in her unborn child, but in her. There was evidence of cancer. You're a patient at this point, but you're right. also a physician. Was there a little bit of a battle between the two? The physician side of me was very skeptical. What about the patient side? The patient side of me was freaking out. This is the cancer right here. There was a large tumor in her colon. She was 15 weeks pregnant when the cancer was surgically removed, with no signs of spread. The test analyzes fetal DNA fragments circulating in the mother's blood, but it also picks up the mother's DNA. Today's study found 10 cases of cancer in the mother out of 125,000 fetal tests. Dr. Diane Bianchi of Tufts Medical Center is the study's co-author and a consultant for one of the lab companies. If there's cancer, the, the tumor is shedding DNA into the mother's blood as well. And that is what is accounting for this imbalance. Seven-month-old baby Ben is now healthy and happy. So is his mother. I'm sure I would have been diagnosed eventually, but I might not have been diagnosed until, say, the cancer had spread to my lymph nodes. So getting pregnant the second time delivered a new life into the world, but it may also have saved your life. It probably saved my life. <laughs> Scott, this is the kind of accidental discovery that can lead to a major advance. Right now, this type of genetic testing is not ready for widespread cancer screening. But as technology improves, this approach may well become a way of screening for many types of cancer with a simple blood test. John, thanks very much.